Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a custom tile for Windows 8 on your start menu. Now, if you're not, if you're new to Windows 8, uh, it looks a little different. You know, instead of having this button down here, you have the start, which basically has all your programs on it and everything you need. So, well, let's get started. So, I'm going to be showing you how to make a custom tile. So, if you look in, actually, if you look in here, see all these ones are playing in there, blue in the background, they look crap. And yeah, all these look all colorful and nice. Now I'm going to tell you how to make one of these. Now if we look here, I made this one, I made this one, I made this one. These, I made those. Everything else is from, you know, default. So we're going to show you how to make those. So I'm going to see if I want to mimic Colm's stuff. Actually, no, I'm going to do the downloads folder. I want to mimic the downloads folder. So, um, first let's get started with that. So, uh, to so open up, um, you're first going to need this program right here. It's called OBLY Tile. Okay. And you just search on the internet and you'll find it. So let's get started. Uh, so you're going to want to put the name of your folder, so downloads. And don't You can hide the title tile name too if you don't want it. Like so, it looks like this. And then I hide it, and then it'll be like nothing. Oh, I guess it doesn't show up. Whatever. And then, so, uh, program path. We're going to choose a file. Oh, no, we're going to choose a folder. Choose folder. We're gonna find this. So it's your um, default. Your documents area is in local disk. And you go to users, and you go to the Lambert or whatever your thing is, and then go to my documents, and then mine's in con stuff, and then download. Okay. And then title image. Okay, we're gonna need to find an image for a folder. So we're gonna go into the search, Google search app. I like this app a lot. You should get it if you have it. You don't have um so we're gonna get um, downloads folder image. Don't put icon because then you make it an icon file. You want to look for images. So let's see which one. We're just gonna pick a random one at this stage anyways. Cause I need to do this. There's a U tour. Uh that one's nice. Let's get that one. For the load. Okay. Save as. There's a new save as thing too. So I'm on desktop, so I'm just gonna say downloads image. Save. And then you can go on and close out of that. And go back to here and there it is. Is this transparent? Yes it is. So you can skip skip step. So if you had um a, a th one that wasn't th transparent, you'd have to open up paint.net. And you see me. You people have seen me do that before. Color in the background with with the um, transparency, and you'd be good. And it's, if it's a JPEG or JPEG or whatever, you need to convert it by saving save as and save as a portable network graphic or a PNG. I'll save it. And I'll, that'll make you. Uh, I'll make it transparent. So put this thing in here. Put the other one in here too. It doesn't matter. It'll fix it. And then let's see what it looks like so far. So here's the thing so far. It's kind of weird on the edges there because it's kind of glass effect. But it looks kind of good. So we're going to change the background of it. I'm going to try purple here. No, it looks kind of weird. Let's try orange. That's really weird. Green? Still really weird. White? Or let's see. Let's, let's get a grayish. I think a grayish would look nice. So let's go down to here. Get a gray. No, it's, no I want to go down here. Apply. That was nice. So, run as administrator, and the text color you can also change, but I'm going to keep it as white because it looks nice. And you're going to click create tile right here. Tile go into the start area. It's not there, it's in the, it's at the back. So now if I see if it works, so we're going to click it. Boom. There's it's the downloads folder. I have nothing in here, but, you know, whatever. So we're going to go back into there. Or else, let's go look and... Let's move this file over where so you can drag this guy around. It's actually like an application now and you can't like go to the file location or anything. It's like one of these guys now. So we're gonna move this over to where my downloads used to be. Oh, we're gonna delete the old downloads. So unpin from start, drag this guy up here. And then I'll do calling stuff later. So yeah, you know, it's a good way to make your thing more appealing, if you ask me. And you can always go back and edit these. Go to open tile manager and you can see here's your history, downloads edit it. And you can also save it. It wouldn't make a new one, it would just edit it. Which is pretty nice. You know, you could donate this guy. I think he's this is a great program, honestly. I think he did a good good job with it. Oh. So you can go ahead and exit out of that. 
and uh, anything else? Let's see. Yeah, that's basically it. That's how you make a you know nice looking tile for uh, Windows 8. Now, um, there's some problems with Windows 8. I don't recommend getting it yet. I kind of jumped the gun on it. I got it too early, but bet you want to hold off for a little bit, not too long, maybe like another month or something, just so they can work out some of the bugs. Because I've, I've known some bugs. Like sometimes it, when you update it, you know, it, you know, you restart and updates. It sometimes it messes up. It says it fails yours, fails to uh, update. That's just some minor issues. I haven't seen anything huge. So yeah, thanks for all for watching and goodbye.